What's up everybody, welcome back to part 2 of the Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater HD Edition run through. And uh, we're going to continue where we left off. Having finished all of the introductory speeches and codex and cutscenes and all that crap. We can actually get on with the game now, to some extent anyway. There's still a lot of cutscenes, I mean it is a Metal Gear Solid game. And yes, we found ourselves in the middle of the jungle. And we have to rescue this Russian scientist. So yeah, let me just uh, run you through what I have. We have the, uh, the MK-22 uh, tranquilizer gun, which is pretty much what I'm going to be using throughout the game. I mean, all round it's kind of, it's silent, first of all, so, you know, all the other machine guns and whatever, whenever you fire them off, you always get spotted, so I like to use this gun. And other than that, we don't have anything special yet. I mean, the mic, you're going to realise that that comes in handy later on, but for now, I mean, it's pretty useless. Um, Item-wise, not going to really need most of these, to be honest. I guess the motion detector is not too bad. So yeah, we'll just have that for now. And we arrive at the, the little alligator gathering. Yeah, with these guys, if if you need to get make your way through, just um just run over their bellies, and you should be safe. If you're one of those guys that kind of has to kill everything once, then you're gonna have to waste some time. Well, yeah, you're gonna have to waste some time killing this guy. They're pretty tough, but you do get rewarded. You get um, I think you get three kind of containers of of food instead of one. So, if you really care, or <coughs> if at any point in the game you're struggling for food, then you're going to have to take some time out to kill one of these bastards. But as you can see, it's kind of long. So yeah, Gabriel, that's what they're called. So yeah, stay away from their tails, otherwise this happens. So yeah, you do not want that. I actually died here a few times. Just while I've been messing around. Ooh, got a suppressor. Nice. I could swear there were some grenades here, but I'm not seeing any. Yeah, obviously swamp. I don't want to get too carried away. This is what happens. Almost died. So yeah, watch out in the swamp. You don't want to die before you've even started. I mean, the, I'm not. This isn't going to be a, a perfect playthrough. I'm probably going to get alerts and continues and all that kind of crap. I don't really care to be honest. I just want to get through the game. I don't have time to to keep redoing sections until I perfect. And finally, we're going to come across some actual enemies. And as usual, they're going to lecture Snake on what he should do next, even though obviously he should know exactly what he's doing. But let's check these guys out first. Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades. We can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. 
You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? I think the split of face paint looks cool, but in the in the name of stealth, let's go for woodland. Then you have your little ride and slash weird pussy looking guy mask. Uniform, uh I think Leaf gives gives better camouflage, but I think Tiger Stripe is the better all rounder. So I'm gonna go with Tiger Stripe. Okay, I think Snake is ready. Yeah, okay. So we'll stay low. I mean, when you're in the grass, as you can see, your camo index is really high. So you're not going to get spotted until they're like five feet away from you. So for those of you who want to kind of not get caught and make life easy for yourself, like me, uh, kind of always stay in cover like this. Just take take them out like that, nice and simple. But you see, look, if you miss. Then, uh, then you find yourself in trouble. Not quite an alert, but um, they will call for backup if you if they if you miss a shot. So watch out. Don't shoot unless you're you're pretty much sure that you're going to hit them. But I got to the next area before they they sent the troops in, so it's good. Oh yes, Snake has a crafty idea. You don't have to shoot that hornet's nest. I don't think I've. I don't think I usually do. To be honest, I don't see the point. But this time, I will shoot it. Where is it again? That? No. That's that's, that's the one. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> Great, okay. So, the, thanks to that, this has now cleared this whole area up. And he's going to tell his, his buddies over there, and they're going to run away like little bitches. So now, we're free to just bear the fruits of our crafty actions. Just checking to see if there's anything in the grass. There isn't. Okay. This bridge can be really annoying. I tend to slip off. But you can do this. Um, if you go to the end here you can see that there's some items there. And to get to that you you have to let go and then tap triangle quickly to grab back on. There's no way you can do that in real life, but well he's snake. Anything goes. And you acquire the the whatever gun. It's a uh, it's a machine gun or a submachine gun or whatever you call it, an assault rifle. I don't know the exact term. But to be honest there's there's not too much point getting it because anything that you get in this in this virtual virtuous mission you have to kind of start from scratch and you're gonna find out why later on. So yeah, don't need I think they all left the area just just to make sure. Yeah, there's no one here. Okay, good. I do want to come up here to find that they're all still there. Uh, any mushrooms you see at the bottom of the trees, if you just give them a kick, you can get hold of those. They're not really that useful unless uh, you find the glowing ones later on in the game. And I'll show you when I get there. Who's there? 
Whoa, that was lucky. <laughs> yeah, so don't take too long, otherwise everyone kind of comes back in. <laughs> that was really lucky. Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. Do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. For kind of inexperienced players, this um, this section might actually be a little tough. There are quite a few guys around here. So, um, I haven't been here for a little while as well, actually. Uh, just make best use of the, the cover that's provided. And just sort of... Shot him in the face. Huh? Uh, yeah, it's gonna take me a little while to, to get back into the hang of it. But as you can see, look, Tiger Stripe still gives me 80%, even in this, even though I'm quite out in the open. So. The only place where Tiger Stripe is going to be pretty rubbish is these little kind of uh, interior sections in the red. But yeah, you can crawl underneath here. This uh, this is pretty much a safe area underneath here. You're not going to be seen by anyone, even if you fire a shot and miss it or whatever. No one's gonna. No one. Huh? HQ. This is HQ. Patrol here. There you go. But um, I'm gonna stab this this guy. What's going on out there? Yeah. Alright, so if you come out through this little part here... I think there's one more guy here, actually. Okay, there isn't. Good. So now you can get up on the roof. And there is no one up here, so it's nice and deserted. And here, you just jump down. And voila. Time to meet Sokolov. I know Snake's good, but he's not that good. I mean, how can he not realize that he's in the room? You must be Sokolov. Are you? One of Vulcan's men? You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. You're CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. Did he now? What does it mean? 
It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Volgin of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner, and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Gronin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process so it would seem. Volgin will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. The first time I played I had no idea that they were speaking Russian. I was like, what? They're speaking Russian? It's a nice little touch. This is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I managed to get past them. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. Now we get to enjoy Sokolov's uh, extreme stealth ninja skills. Just check him out, I love this guy. He's like, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing now? The snake's being all stealthy and I'm just sort of standing around like an idiot. <laughs> He's awesome. Here come the ninja hands. Yeah. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> and now we're about to meet one of the, the biggest players in the whole Metal Gear Solid series. And you'll know him when you see him if you've played the game before. And those of you who don't, the one, the main guy coming up now, 
Freeze! He's going to be a pivotal player in the whole series. So, yeah, this is a great scene. So this is the legendary boss. Huh? Huh? We meet at last. You! You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh? What's a crew soldier doing here? Soldier? He's the Ocelot commander. Heh. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. And don't you forget it. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. And Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? Can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? What is that stance? Huh. That gun. Oh no, he didn't. <laughs> no one misses the snake. <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. <laughs> The other one. And once again, no one shoots him, of course. Like here, just shoot him in the face.
ejected the first bullet by hand, didn't you? I see what you were trying to do. But testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you, huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! <laughs> But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, are you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. <laughs> <laughs> 